together. But in any case, yes, welcome to the run stream. Uh, we'll be doing the entire world. Uh, so on the Conquer the World campaigns, it's the original one, the entire world. Uh, the original game launched with only this campaign, or these other four ones are the campaigns from the expansion. And oh, I'm out of water. Well, shit. I might actually have to go get more water because I'm gonna get run out of hydration during the stream. But uh, yeah, so the entire world was actually in the original campaign, but it was slightly different. The uh, the expansion changed a few things. Because the expansion added a bunch of new countries, well, nations, in this terminology. And it moved around, or well, it didn't like move where people were, but like it added more uh, divisions. It added more, I don't know what to call them, but you'll see in a second. We'll be playing as China, as China number one, but legit China's my like favorite nation. So basically, it's a risk-like map, and you got to go from one territory to another, and you got to conquer. Well, the goal is to conquer all of them. Um, if you survive until the end of the game, though, then you know you don't necessarily lose. It's just you know the goal is to get all of them. So I like the Chinese because of a little bit of this stuff and a little bit of this stuff. I really like fire lances. I really hate heavy fire lances. I like cheap science. I don't care about the second thing. I like large cities, and I like instant citizens caravans merchants. So everyone sort of starts in their own little, you know, country where you'd expect them to be on a world map. And the main difference is like the sort of clustered regions between, like in in the original uh, Conquer the World campaign. There was less territories here, and there was like less territories here, and I think this was the same, but it basically just made the map a little bit bigger, is the main thing. Yeah, just, I really should have done this before the stream started, but I'm just going to grab some water real quick, I'll be back in just a minute. Sorry for that. Alright, so let's get started. Once OBS stops getting in the way. Preferably with Discord not in the way either. Alright, perfect. Uh, so you have armies, everyone starts with one, capital. Uh, what is the most important stuff to go over? So every turn you can attack one location. If you want to attack another uh, nation, you have to use tribute, like your. Your currency, I guess, this is like the only currency that matters on this screen. And once you like, let's say we do this, we press start, it's going to put us into a an actual RTS game. If you're fighting another nation, then it, it always gives you like a, a some form of regular RTS combat. But if you're fighting like these, un well, not fully inhabited, like barbarian nations, then it'll give you tactical missions. Like you can see at the bottom, uh, over here on this screen, it'll say Scenario War Party. Uh, it's like a tactical mission, Scenario War Party, Scenario War Party, Barbarian Rally, and you know, Conquest Conquest is just regular Conquest, the normal game mode. Uh, so each territory gives you like resources if you capture it. Um, you can see if I would go here in this territory over here, it would give me 10 tribute. I get a rare resource and I get this card. So I can't really show you the cards until I have them, but basically you can play them before the start of 
most fights um, to gain boosts. Like this one gives you more food, one of the resources. In Resonations, Partisans, inviting enemy troops take 50% more attrition damage during one battle. If you're not familiar with attrition, you'll kind of see what it is at some point. But yeah, there's lots of different cards. Um, rare resources on this screen work differently from rare resources in the game. If you control a rare resource on the world map screen, then you just always get that um, rare resource as if it was as if you had a merchant on it um, in in your game in your conquest. I don't know what to call it, but yeah. The other important thing is these sort of stocks of, I don't know what they are, they look like cannonballs to me, but I'm not sure if that's what they're supposed to be. Um, whenever you capture one of these territories, you get an army, and if someone else captures one of those off of you, you have to give up an army. Like, you disband an army and they'll get an army, in an army instead. So, like, we definitely want to try and get to one of these two first off. This one's safer. This one's like way more contested though, and if you got the contested one, then you know you can go from here and then like invade a capital or something. But the good thing about taking this one is that you can automatically claim Australia because whenever you outnumber the enemy by two armies or more, you can just and the the territory strength is low. The territory strength is indicated here. If the territory strength is, I think, four and below, or maybe below four. Uh, what's the rule? You can win a non-capital territory without having to fight, you know, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't say. But yeah, if the territory is big enough, it doesn't matter if you unnumber them or not. I'm pretty sure. It just doesn't say it here. I think it's four and below. And if it's not four and below, it's definitely below four, so just three and below. But in any case, let's get started. I'm gonna go for my standard opening, the nice, quick, easy, free Australia. Well, let's fight some barbarians. Now I have all this fun stuff on the screen too, isn't it great? Settlers from far away regions are encroaching onto your lands, which is funny because we're invading the barbarians. Lead your war party in an effort to drive them off, destroy 25 enemy units. So. The game just starts paused in single player if you let it. Uh, I'm just figuring out how to group my guys. It's an awkward set of units. I think what I might do is put Light Cav in one, Range Cav in another, and everyone else can have their own group. And then I'll actually get the scout to not be with everyone. So we'll split them up because they all fight differently. I don't really need that, do I? No. Alright, so the scout will just go around scouting. I was like, if you fight all of these guys at the same time, you don't really use their strengths properly. So I want to split them up if I can. I'm pretty sure getting resources doesn't give me anything useful. Like, I know if you do really well in these scenarios, you can... Hello. Where are the citizens? What? <laughs> this farm is without citizens. But yeah, if you do really well, you can get, um, like, a bonus card. A special bonus card. Which you can't usually get. Unless you, you know, get it from doing well in a scenario. There's a city here. But like, I'm not sure if having resources in this situation actually matters or not. It's really hard to tell. Oh, well there's their army. There's their other city. Hello. Alright, so... Found some dudes. Oh, we found a scout. That's pretty good. But we can't kill him though. Unless he walks towards us. Please? Hey. Uh, got him. Alright, kill the archers. 
You don't need to go into a boat yet. Did they get into the city? No, they didn't. We might be able to do a hit and run on this guy, never mind. Oh, there's still a citizen there. Alright, um... I don't know what to do with these melee... well, not melee, but... Um... Not mounted units. Get these guys to patrol the outskirts, see if they can find anything. No, go for the citizens. Cause like, we're just trying to kill units, we're not trying to destroy infrastructure. Perfect. Uh, perfect. See if they're restocking some of the other ones. Are you gonna fight? Yeah, well that's bad. Don't be there. It's possible to pick some units off here or around the cities, it's just not easy to do. Alright, they restocked that one. So once dead, we'll hop down here. Oh, my scout died. Um, I might actually get my light cap to fight this. Oh, yay, barbarians. I love barbarians. Barbarians are my most favorite thing. And since I'm fighting, I'm just gonna change stances. I would separate these guys, but it'll take too long, so we'll just put them together. I don't think losing units really matters. Go check over here, see if they've replenished the people there. We have six more to destroy. No replenished. Okay, well... Try here, and then look over here. Well, this looks good. Two more, we can get them here. Just need this one. Get him, boys. Or this one. Oh, well, that's bad. Uh, kill the caravan then. We just need that one thing to die. And that's the end of the game. There we go. This game starts, but, you know, I don't think that's really relevant. <laughs> Since we only have two territories, you know, we must place it in the other one, so it just places it for us. We have the one of the world card. Someone already built the Colossus, which is <laughs> sad. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to hold it. I don't really want the Hanging Gardens or the Pyramids. Although I'm thinking about the Hanging Gardens. I just think it activates too late to be that useful. Same with the Pyramids. You want something that... Because to, to get the Wonder working in, in this game mode, you have to get Civic 4, I think. And getting Civic 4 with Hang Gardens, like, that's not useful, dude. Oh well. We'll, we'll just hang on to it. So this will be overrun. Which means the army consumes its turn, like, we can't move it. But we get the territory. And now I'm thinking we just take out Mongolia. Because they're in the way. And I want the <laughs> I want the supply. Uh, science Eureka wouldn't be bad. Cultural dominance against Mongolians wouldn't be bad either. Mm. Plus, this fight would be really fucking hard. Uh, okay, we'll we'll get a science. <laughs> this is a this is not gonna be an easy one. But it is what we need to do. And because I'm playing on the max difficulty, I am gonna actually say well, not really save scum in the sense that I'm gonna try and get favorable outcomes. I'm just gonna try to accomplish the mission of conquering the entire world. So we'll just call this one Stream Entire World Everyone. <laughs> 